As much as I love working on my workbench, sometimes you gotta go back to basics and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna build a shelter, heat reflection wall, make some fire with flint and steel and cook some food. And hopefully I can manage that because I'm only wearing a commonest medieval clothing and will spend the night out here. Let's take a look at the tools first. I've got a bit flint and steel, my knife, an axe, a shovel. I also brought some rope, but I don't think I'll need it. Let's start crafting. Let's pick a spot first where I can camp because otherwise I'd have to carry around all of that all the time. I like it here. Let's just be clear which spot exactly. And for that, you always have to give it a test fit between those two trees, maybe. Oh yeah, that's ah. perfect. You see that? I'm gonna stay between those two trees. Excellent. So let's make some rope. The first resource we're gonna farm are stinging nettles. Yeah, that's what we are looking for. Fibers peeled directly off the stock. There we go. I want to use the first one I pick as a tinder and therefore I've got to scratch off the like reflecting layer. I already tried this like four or five times and it never worked. Let's see whether it will work this time. <laughs> I'm improving ever since. I got this from a fellow YouTube channel called... I forgot the name. I'm gonna link it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that for like one or two hours now. In the meantime, I wanna share some great news for you because I've got my first sponsor, Burgschneider. He provided me with most of what I'm wearing right now and I got the permission to test it to my heart's content. So let's see how good it will look after one night in the forest. First take. I'm reacting allergic to something here. <laughs> ah, be it as it is. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you about the drill I've got before when we talked about the tools. Yeah, well, it's an easy hand drill and we're gonna use it as an anchor to make the rope now. I picked the very long parts of the stinging nettle fibers I took off. Now I can already see how this is getting thinner. So let's add a bit of the stinging nettle. When you don't have any scraps left, turn it over you can continue for a bit and at the very end just make a knot and here we are our rope let's get some other crafting materials now we're going to repeat that a couple of times i love that fork of a branch here we'll definitely use it Yeah, I like the height. I tried to swing the axe both-handed, but you can see I've already got some very, uh, like, not continuous blasters on my left hand. On the other hand, my right hand, who is used to all the hammering, makes a pretty good impression. Now that we are finished with the basic rig, we're gonna have to cover it. And for that, I wanna use the branches of this freshly fallen tree. The needles don't fall off yet, like you would've had with an old Christmas tree. So I think it's still like maybe two weeks ago that this tree fell down. Should do the job at least for one night. <laughs> That doesn't look very tight. I'd need like twice the amount. Maybe I can scrap off a bit, but then maybe I'll just throw random stuff on the ground on top of that. 
Ah, mosquitoes everywhere. How would you rate the progress with the shelter so far? Considering the time it took, I'd say it's reasonable. I gotta cover it with some more stuff because I want it as thick that you can't look through it anymore. How happy are you with Burg Schneider's clothing so far? I'm quite satisfied so far. Like the shirt is definitely a 10 out of 10. I'd say the fabric also feels quite good and I like the look. What's the fabric? Gotta look it up. I think it's either linen or um, cotton. But of the chausses, it ripped here on the back, all on both sides. But well, maybe they should have sewn it down on two points and not only on one. Otherwise, they feel quite good. They fit quite well. I like the shoes a lot. They feel very good. By the way, the uh. motherfucker who's asking the questions is my brother Michael. Thanks for being the cameraman. <laughs> I'm gonna make a short break with like the shelter now and start to dig out the fire pit because the mosquitoes increase Ah. And when we've got a bit of smoke, I hope they'll fuck off again. In addition, sometimes it's quite good to pause a project and continue with another one. Then you got like a different point of view afterwards. We gotta continue by digging the hole now. Wer rastet, der rostet. As we say in Germany, and I think that's beautiful. Ah. Let's continue making the tinder now. It has dried very good and now we've got to break all the fibers down. Gonna do that by ripping them apart. And we know we're finished when we got like a light green. The main problem when making fire with a flint and steel and contrary to the like magnesium rod is that the sparks are way cooler. So the bark spark back there wouldn't catch like a spark from flint and steel. Let's hope that the stinging nettle will do its trick. Otherwise I've got a plan B. Now I basically gotta repeat that until it continues to glow. Yes! Nearly, it caught the spark. Yes! Ah, and this is all on one day. It started with this like, what was it, five hours ago? Six hours ago? It was only not like dense enough in order to like keep it glowing, but that's only a detail. My hands are way too sweaty. Maybe it's really the moisture. I'm gonna put it aside for five minutes now. And if it doesn't work then, I'm gonna go to plan B, which is cat's tail. I've tried it a lot, that usually works. Uh, let's wait now. Dinner-wise, I wanted to go for a roadkill chicken. Basically, you slice the back and then nail it flat onto a piece of wood. Well, this is like the best I could find, the broadest one. This is gonna be interesting. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Side dish. Just put some onions into the fire. Thanks for asking, though. You would have forgotten. It still feels a bit moist, but let's try it again. Otherwise, the cat's tail will do the job. Ah, fuck it. Okay, let's go for the cat's tail. Give me the uh. fire already. No, it would be so easy with char cloth, but I'm not gonna join the char club again. I did it on medieval events like three times an hour for the tourists to see. Are you fucking kidding me? I need a minute. I'm gonna cut that all out. Hey, first try. <laughs> Why? Usually I got it in like three strokes. Gotta be... Fuck, it always works. My hands are so sweaty. How can that be? Three hits normally. Three hits. Now I'm sitting here for, I'm feeling like 10 minutes. <laughs> we 
maybe to catch a spark and then I could extract like the glowing parts. Yes. There we are. Let's see whether I can transfer it to the stinging nettle. Yeah. I want to break it down a bit more, but I should have done that before. Now it feels correct. Yes. Oh, this feels so good, I tell you. I don't want to know how long that took now. It's like normally like ding. You saw it just flew down there, the correct spark, like way further away from where I parked the spark in my hand. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. I'm completely done, I tell you. I changed my mind for the chicken. I think it would be better to just put it on that again and not on the board. We're just gonna use it for eating now. First we take our birdie bird and try to put it on the board. That's a big bugger. How do I do that now? That looks a bit wrong here. Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the board would have been a better idea. <laughs> I'm gonna apply the spices. I should have prepared that better. Ah, oh, the spice burn in the open hand. <laughs> I need some water on my hands right now. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, that didn't work out at all. So we decided to cut the chicken down into smaller pieces and grill them separately. Yeah, that felt way more stable now. I don't want to have to hold it with my whole hand because then I get the spices and the salmonella in my, well, kind of open wound. <laughs> the stick was a very bad choice because although I like, like the shape here on the top, no problem, but it's very curved down there and that's why you can't really stick it into anywhere and you have to get very creative. Those onions look awesome. Let's just... Mm. That was a very good idea. I'm completely done and will go to bed after eating the chicken legs. See you tomorrow for the review and further details. Good morning. The stuff definitely kept me warm and even after the fire was out, it was quite okay. All in all, I was quite satisfied with the clothing. At the start, I was a bit afraid because this is like not 100% wool, only 80% and the rest is plastic. But as I said, it kept me warm quite good. And the great, great advantage is that it's machine washable. This is like so much worth to me at that moment. <laughs> you can't believe it. I gotta give some minus points though because both of the ribbons of the shorts' backs ripped off. Maybe they should have sawn it down on both seams and not only on one. They can be reattached properly in like two minutes though, which I'll do now. I was also a bit afraid that a spark could fly onto it and then start to burn its way through, but this didn't happen. Everything looks 
quite good. I'm gonna put a link to the full set in the video's description with a 10% coupon. It really helps a lot if you use the affiliate link to support the channel. Please consider that and then you can also check out how much this is worth. A general note I could give you is that this is like very very good for beginners like the normal average beginners clothing you can buy will last for like two years maybe. This makes to me the impression that it will last for five years. I also like how it feels. It isn't like cheap or clunky. It just feels very natural and good. And also the colors are, oh, the colors are so good. I only tested it for one day and one night. Quite hardcore, but I'm not sure how it would behave in rain. I'm quite optimistic though, because the fabric is just very thick. I also like the shoes a lot. They definitely fit, they were comfortable to wear. I gave them a hand felted insole though. I definitely recommend an insole. Personally, all in all, I'd say that I massively overestimated what I could do in the time I got. I wasted a lot of it by chopping firewood, which I didn't need in the the end, making the stinging nettle rope and fighting with the chicken, which I should have prepared better or replaced with easier craftable food. Instead, I should have spent more time making a proper shelter. But miscalculations in time management are also a problem I got at home in my working bench. The difference here is that the consequences are harsher and more imminent. If the weather would have been worse, I would have had serious problems. I'm also sure that you will love this video. See you there. I'm breaking up the camp now. Bye bye. It's a nice morning.